Okay, first video of the, um, this is my bike. We ain't got a name for it yet. My new bike, how's that sound? We've got Chad Hager from previously Team Sunweb, now Team DSM. How are you doing, Chad? I'm doing all right. Having, having a good time riding my new bike in, uh, in some quickly improving weather. It's a day off today, you were telling me just off camera. So it's a busy day for you, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I had a big week. Did six and a half hours yesterday. Today, a rest day. So I am constantly moving, getting all the to-do list items done. Hold on. You're a new dad and you did six hours yesterday. How do you cram family life and bike riding in? A very helpful wife. <laughs> oh. Well, to take on the childcare while I'm pedaling around. Okay, for 2021, the team's had a change of bike. I mean, they've left Sabello behind and you're now on Scott. Yes. That's correct. What model have they put you on? We're on the Addict RC Pro. I need to learn all the, all the the full name of it. It's the Addict. How long have you had it? When did, when did they deliver that one to your door? Uh, I, I first got on it a couple of weeks ago at team camp. Uh, showed up and new kit, new bike, new helmet. It was, yeah, lots of new stuff all at once. Very exciting. Makes you feel like a, a real professional. All right, here you have it. My 2021 Team DSM Scott Addict RC brought it out in the sun freshly cleaned so you can see the sparkle sparkles and then it fades to a solid is it is it like christmas day for you guys or do you just get used to it get used to getting all this nice flash kit yes it, it we get used to it but it's still like christmas um i mean you, you never get tired of the new bike feeling are you are you a, are you a bike geek then or is it just a tool for the job yes no, yeah. but yes to one. <laughs> <laughs> I like to answer questions that way. It, it is a tool for the job, but uh, I am a bike geek, engineer by by education, at least in a former life. And so I, I love the tech aspect of, of the sport. And so being on the new stuff, seeing what's different and improved is always exciting. Okay, so what's new for you apart from the fray? What other bits and pieces are new? The biggest thing is disc brakes. I was on the rim brake R5 the last couple of years as the rest of the peloton moved to disc and so now i'm finally i finally made that that jump myself and so getting used to that has been uh has been fun to see what the brakes can do and i haven't I haven't yet been descending in the rain as soon as it starts raining I'm, I'm headed out the door i gotta see what that's like now everybody says it's pros are great at handling bikes no matter what will disc brakes though help you speed up going down hills because you can brake later I'll tell you an anecdote from the Giro, okay? The, I, I quickly learned, as I think maybe only a few dozen guys in the Giro Peloton were still on rim brakes. And we had a fair bit of rainy days. And the scariest moment of any race was the first couple of corners of a descent after we'd been like a long, cold, rainy climb. The first two corners of the descent are terrifying because the rim brakes just don't bite at all. And it, it takes some time to get them dried off and warmed up so that they break well. And so the disc brake guys don't have that problem. So you, you go diving into the first switchback and my brakes don't work. And I, I see all the guys around me slowing down. I'm like, I'm going to need to slow down pretty quick. But the best way I had to sum it up is an anecdote. We go over the top of this long, cold, wet climb. And it's immediately about 200 meters, 10% downhill into a switchback. We go over the top, get up to speed. 150 meters before the corner or something like that, I start braking. The same moment I started braking, the guy next to me on this brake sat up, zipped up his jacket, and then started braking, and we entered the corner side by side. If that doesn't tell you the difference in braking performance, I, I, I can't tell it any better. <laughs> so you're definitely looking forward to racing, and that's for sure. Yes, yes. Okay, and they're obviously supplied by uh, Shimano. You want yeah. race components. Okay, now are you a man for DI2 electronic shifting or do you like mechanical shifting? As as a guy who works on his own bikes, I prefer mechanical. It just I understand it much better. It's very straightforward. But DI2 is, is pretty fantastic. It's just it doesn't need any tinkering. Once it's set up properly, it's it's good to go. And it's it's as a, a bike rider, it's definitely a much nicer feeling. Right, I'm going to try and see if I can call you bluff here. 
Uh-huh. Talk about tinkering with new bits and pieces. You've not been tinkering with any new jaw race bits and pieces or seen any new jaw race bits and pieces floating around, have you? I have not, no. I would love to, but I, I've not yet seen that. There's rumours circulating that there's an, a wireless group set kicking around. I saw a tweet, and I'm, I'm interested to see that myself, but uh, not yet. Do you, so you guys don't get the first stuff straight away. You might be a little bit down the line, will you? As a support writer, I can assure you that I do not get first dibs uh, or the experimental stuff. So, <laughs> not me. Oh, right, talk us through your setup on your bike. What size frame are you riding? Come on, you're an engineer. You should know these things. I don't. They they set the bike up with my measurements, and I am good to go. Uh, I, I believe it's probably it must be a 58 centimeter frame. Uh, I don't know what what label. Probably a large. Uh, but yeah, it's. It's a tall guy's bike. Um, so do you know your bar width, your stem length? Bar width saddle is height? 40 centimeters. I, you know, I don't know how they measure the stem length because it's, it's also my first time riding a one-piece bar stem combo. Um, so I think it's probably about a 135 stem. It, it seems the same length as, as what I am used to. Uh, but 40 centimeter wide bars. And saddle height's about 80.5. Um, what else were you asking? Gear ratio. What gear ratios do you train on? Uh, 39.53 up front, and then the, the rear is an 11.28, which is workable on the climbs around here, the 39.28, but I, w- I would like a slightly easier gear for training. Won't keep you too much longer. I'll ask you to give you your three favorite new bits of your new bike, if you can. thing I forgot to mention that I'm most excited about. I mean... This Wahoo head unit is fantastic. I like. I get kind of annoyed at people who shamelessly plug sponsors constantly, but this I underestimated the Wahoo. The ease of use and intuitiveness, and just the level of the the, the head unit itself is like wow. That's that's a 2021 product right there. You you have, you'll have to tap them up for the new rival watch if you. Do a bit of running. I, I know that's, I've, I've seen them around. I think that's going to be in my in my goodie bag at this next camp. That sounds all right. What else have you got? We've got the Wahoo Roan that you're loving. I mean, the, the aesthetic of a one-piece bar stem combo is, I can't get over it. It's a very sleek, like you just look down and it just looks streamlined and, and sleek. And uh, it's it's definitely the best looking bike I've ever ridden. And it, it rides excellent as well. So. How's it, what's the ride quality like between the Cervelo and this? Obviously, they're going to have different characteristics. Yeah, the, I think the geometry is different a little bit. The, the ride quality is marginally stiffer, I think. I, I think I feel the, the bumps in the road a little bit more. The, the, I felt like the Cervelo seat post uh, had a little bit of give to it. But on descents, this thing whips around corners like nobody's business. The, especially the slalom type descents, I can just back and forth. Oh, it's it's really responsive and fun. So you're looking forward to getting to racing on it. Hopefully, yeah. not in not too far a distant future. Yeah, that'd be that'd be excellent. All right, okay, Chad. I won't keep you too long. We've had I've had 15 minutes of you. That's more than enough. No problem.